Hi, my name is Gabriel Ha, and in this demo, we're going to showcase how MATLAB makes it easy to create a classifier using transfer learning with deep neural networks. Transfer learning is the process of taking a deep neural network that's already been trained, truncating the last layers, appending some new ones, and then doing lightweight training to get your model. It's sort of like redecorating a cake after buying one and taking off the frosting instead of baking the entire cake from raw ingredients. In both cases, we get the results we want with much less effort than doing it from scratch because we're building on work that's already been done. Our demo features an image recognition application of neural networks. Just as a reference point, we previously created a network from scratch that didn't have too many layers, and it was trained on images of four different animals. Cats, dogs, frogs, and deer. Thank you. We used 5,000 images of each animal to train the network. It took 45 seconds to run with a really good GPU. Its overall accuracy is 75% when tested on new images. Now, let's solve the same problem, but using transfer learning. Our network is going to learn from AlexNet, a convolutional neural network which was trained on more than a million images with the task of classifying 1,000 objects, including some of the animals in our demo. Now, you might ask, well, why do transfer learning? If AlexNet is so good, why not just use AlexNet? Well, transfer learning can be used for objects not in the original network. And more importantly, you can have a classifier specific to your data. So let's look at how MATLAB makes it straightforward to create a new neural network tailored to just those four animals using transfer learning. And to keep us honest, we're using images from the same set we used to train the previous network from scratch. We'll use this code to load AlexNet, and for each of the four animals that we want to classify, we're going to introduce just 500 images of each animal to fine-tune our new network. We're going to drop each of them in their own folder and use these lines of code to point MATLAB to the data and indicate what they're supposed to contain. And that's it as far as setup is concerned. So now we're tasked with creating the layers of our neural network. But wait, if we're using an existing network that already has pretty good layers set up, shouldn't we just reuse some of that work? Well, that's exactly right. Note this line of code where we essentially just copy over the layers from AlexNet. However, we trim off the last three layers, which told AlexNet to classify 1,000 objects, and we replace it with our own code where we're classifying just four. Now compare this with trying to come up with all of these layers from scratch. Now, for deep learning experts, you can do additional modifications, such as changing some of the learning parameters or playing with the size and number of new layers. Uh, at a high level, what we've chosen to do here is speed up the learning rate of our new layers so that the training algorithm focuses more on tuning the parameters for the new layers we've added. Finally, we'll set up similar testing parameters, and we'll go ahead and put MATLAB to work. Through the magic of post-production, you can see that it only took a little more than four minutes to train, and even with only 10% of the training data compared to train our network from scratch, our network has 85% accuracy. So with way less training data, and without the headache of figuring out all the layers on your own, we've got a classifier with even better accuracy for these four animals, and that's pretty cool. If you want to improve the results even further, you can try introducing more training images or tweak the new layers even more if you're up to the challenge. And since you can get your hands on all the code as well as AlexNet in the links below, feel free to use it and apply transfer learning to your own set of images, which could include other things like even more animals or bigger animals or, or cute animals, by which I mean other cute animals. What or... about things that aren't animals? I mean, yeah, you could do that, but... Cute animals! I mean, they're just so cute! I just can't get enough of them! It's... Anyways, hey, hey, uh, don't, don't hesitate to uh, don't leave you us your feedback. And as always, thanks for watching.